Hey YouTube, what's up? Mr. Geeky here, and today, welcome. There's a dog. To the silent dark. Now, a little backstory in this game. I was over at a friend's house recently, and when we were younger, the only game that we ever played pretty much was Roblox, which is this game. Well, what this game is made on. Roblox is pretty much a website that allows people to use this free Lego-like game engine to create their own games. And we used to play it all the time. And so, for old time's sake, we went back on the website and played some of the old games, did random things that we used to, trap people in houses. It, it, it was weird. But then I found this game, The Silent Dark. And we decided to play it. We couldn't finish it. It was that scary. But hopefully with the video, it'll get me enough incentive. Now, I didn't know Roblox could be this scary because it's a kid's game. But we're gonna give it a try, and, uh, hope to not die. And there's E.T. over there. But that's pretty much the backstory. I didn't even know the- oh, okay. Probably went five minutes into the game before we had to stop. Turn on the radio, left click. Important news bulletin. Authorities are yet to find the cause of numerous disappearances around Augur- are strongly advised to stay inside with the doors and windows locked shut at all times past 8 p.m. Rumors have spread that aliens are visiting Augur Lake. I'm sure that's not what it is. Silent Dark. Now, I'm sure it was a lot scarier at night, which is when we played it, so maybe I'll be able to finish it. Pick up objects. Now, we have no thumb in this game. Which is an unfortunate tale. It's getting dark outside. Make sure all the doors and windows are closed. This part was literally terrifying. Like, I literally freaked the frick out with this. There's a dog outside the house. I don't know what it's doing, but... Hopefully it's not too distra- ah. Um, everything looks closed. Bring some cheese with me. Uh, I don't know. I don't. Everything seems like it's closed. That oh, looks like it's just the house. Uh, I should sleep. Get to your bed. All right. Ah. Go to your bed upstairs. All right. So as you can see, it's it's very blocky. You can definitely see that this is not top quality game engine. Like I said, it's a Lego like game engine. But it's surprisingly and it's very cartoony. This part is what really got me. Like that is terrifying. And here we are. And the water effects don't look too bad. You know, I mean, once again, this is like a game engine made for like kids to get into game making for the first time. So you can't expect it to look that great. Like, look, trees, wow, great trees. But, you know, it looks decent for the engine. Because I used to mess around with this engine all the time. Some of you may not know this, but I am an avid game creator. I like to make it a games. I need a key for this door. This is the weird thing about this. I, I think I got past this part and then that was as far as I went. But there's the key. Alright, cool. But the thing that all weirds me out is that like why am I a toddler? Like there is definitely some No, thank you. No, thank you. Haha. <laughs> There's definitely some theories to be had on this game. And that's thrown down. Not sure where to go. This way, I guess? The light shines. Telling me where to head in the maze. Who? <gasps> I am. I'm pressing it. I'm pressing open. Jesus Christ. 
<sighs> I heard something. I don't know what to do after this point. After this point is where we stopped playing because we were too scared. After that open the door thing. Is someone there? Sure hope not. Why is the front door open? Yeah. Something could get in. There's no aliens in Augur Lake. Go back to bed. Alright. There are aliens in Augur Lake. There are. I think this is where we stopped. Before we closed our eyes. So, besides this, I don't know. Silent Doc, coming soon. Whew! That little demo was really creepy, I gotta say. This is a short video. It's definitely a short video. So, I didn't actually know, like, I'm going to come back to this game once it's finished. But that little demo was terrifying. I was surprised at how good it was for a Roblox game. Like, And it's completely free. Like, if you want to play this go down in the description below a link you right to the website uh roblox check it out uh if you're just getting into game making this is the perfect place to start and i gotta say don't like all the random weird games that are made on that this just goes to show that there are some amazing things being made on that so hope you guys enjoyed uh i, I oh wait darn uh i forgot to say um, hopefully the next few episodes of Indie Plays, which yes, this was one, um, I never, I didn't do the introduction to an Indie Plays, but, um, the next few episodes of Indie Plays, Bro Time, and uh, some other things are going to be coming out. Uh, some of them might have already come out, like Undertale and stuff, but just stay tuned, there will be a lot more videos coming. I just had a huge break, a lapse in time where I wasn't doing anything for a few days, so... I'm going to try and upload every day. It's not a promise. It's just something that I'm going to try and do. So, also stay tuned for The Real Five Nights at Freddy's. That's a series that I've been trying to get off the ground for so long. You can, I, I talk about it a little bit in my uh, Five Nights at Freddy's FNAF World Theory that I did recently. Uh, so, just stay tuned for some of this stuff. And I'll see you guys next time on Nitty Plays. That is... I hate it. Outro. See if I'm there. I'm determined. I'm determined, man. <laughs> Dead man. Oh my god, she's a fight.